Sunday morning edition. You know, they laughed at me when I said there was Jews underground. <laughs> Dude, I saw those videos are fucking like, <laughs> why? <laughs> and then why are they fighting the cops about it? <laughs> Did you look up into like the reasoning why they were doing that? They were trying to expand. They're trying to like uh, connect a synagogue to another through an underground structure, and apparently the heads of the uh, the of that church didn't fucking know. Wait, are you fucking serious? Yeah, it was like a group of like like younger dudes like we're gonna fucking build this tunnel. They're like fuck any like infrastructure we're damaging. Bro, do you know how <laughs> many anti-Jewish conspiracy theory? people out there are probably like i fucking knew it <laughs> these jews are on the ground there's people like on twitter sounding off like i told you i'm not crazy they're still mining for gold <laughs> <laughs> but why like <laughs> then then uh, they had like a there was like um there was like a there's one where they went into like the tunnels they followed the cops down there like yeah people with the cameras and there was an entire fucking synagogue down there like with the stained glass and everything. Yeah, they were, like, trying to build, like, some type of, like... Another, like, synagogue. Yeah, I guess yeah. they got denied by the city on trying mm -hmm. to build something. Because, obviously, like, constructurally, it would be a nightmare. Yeah. And on top of that, you're also damaging... If you damage an underground while there's shit on top of it, all that shit can cave in on yeah. itself. But they were just like, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> well, they were um, they were that specific type of Jew, right? They're yeah, like they're the, like Hasidic, Hasidic, like Orthodox, whatever they are. The the curly Q ones, yeah. Where like the men have the rights. Uh, they're apparently the very like, they're fucking assholes. They're very aggressive. Yeah, is what I've heard. I, uh, my old Jewish buddy um, at work, he was telling me about. I was telling him about. It, he's like, oh, and he, without even saying, he's like, I bet it was the Hasidics, right? I was like, yeah. How'd you know? He's like, they're fucking pieces of shit. Um, he just said like he always had like. They're unapologetic just, about, like, the way they act. Yeah. And then they're fucking, like, if you're not part of their religion, they'll, like, spit on you and shit. Mm -hmm. like, it's like, bro, if you fucking spit on me, you're catching these fucking hands. I saw this one video of this guy who, like, um, I guess he worked on a golf course, and he was just trying to, like, move golf carts around. Like, that's his whole the job. Guy pop out of the 18th hole. <laughs> they showed, no, they, sh no, they showed up, and they were just kind of, like, forcing him off the golf cart and trying to take it from him. And he's yeah. just like, what are you, what are you all doing? And it's just like, I don't know, like, I don't want to, like, bash on anybody's culture, but sometimes, you know, your culture can be a little funky sometimes. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Anyways. Every every culture has a group like that. Before we started this episode, we were about to get into the whole, like, uh, U.S. citizens getting deported from Mexico. Fuck yeah, bro. <laughs> oh, it doesn't feel good, does it now? Yeah. Oh, but you're trampling on my rights. Fuck you, man. Get the fuck out You of don't here. have rights here, yeah. dog. You're a U.S. citizen. Get mm -hmm. back onto the U.S. I mean, you should know better. Yeah. Come on. You should. It's like, it's like. If an American goes over to Canada and starts acting like a jackass and he's like, I'm an American citizen, he's like, yeah, but you're not in America. Like, yeah. it just, do you think just because you're in a, a country full of brown people, you have like white superiority? And I feel like in a lot of these people. It's white superiority, like to the T, right? But it's, there. it's also the fact that it's also the people who are going over there are people who. Aren't, who aren't, aren't the ones that think that way. They're like, oh, I want to be inclusive. I want to you know, hang out with, like, a more lively culture. And then they take advantage of that mm -hmm. culture. And then when they're... It's all a front. Yeah, and whenever yeah. They, they start, like, push getting the pushback, you know, people... They start saying they're like, oh, they're being fucking hateful yeah. and racist to me. I know that happened recently. Not recently, but what it's was happened... was black chick, right? Yeah, she, yeah. like, opened up some type of business, and she's like, the, the Mexican people down here just don't want to work. Like, I'm trying to, like, you know... Give them a good like wage here. Like, you're not giving them American wages. Yeah. You're giving them like like lower. And over there, um, Mexico's a much bigger gig economy. Mm -hmm. As in, like they work and they get paid after they're done working. Yeah. It's not a we're waiting to the end of the week to get a paycheck. Yeah. Because like, sometimes you can't make it to the fucking end of the week. It's like no, I gotta eat now, bitch. Yeah. Like what the fuck do you think this is? But uh, it's just, I just hope the like all these Mexicans out there when they see an American getting deported and American. He's like, what do you, you do? I have rights. And the Mexican just walks up to them and they're like, should have done it the right way. Yeah. Should have, you know, you should have done done it the right way. It gone through the legal way. Yeah. But yeah, it is. I wonder how the Mexican president's going to handle when they find out that the Jews are borrowing under their city, too. 
What, what if that happened? They're like, oh, fuck, they're everywhere. <laughs> they're building a tunnel system. I just like the all the tweets that people had from, like, a year ago. And they're like, like I'm nowhere near a synagogue. And I hear, like, singing, like, Jewish singing songs. Like, they're, like, religious hymns and stuff. And then uh, this year they post up, I fucking knew it. <laughs> they're in the fucking <laughs> walls. <laughs> But for real, for that tunnel that they fucking built, they might have—they must have been doing this for a while. They're doing it for a while, dude. They're and, digging straight into the ground, like. And it's weird for me to hear that, like the leader of like this like particular group was like, "We had no idea." It's like bullshit, That's bullshit, bro. You're probably like, "How did he not know?" Because they showed the video of inside, and that whole wall is gone. It was like pieces of wood against it, and there's yeah. literally just a hole in the wall. Yeah, it, I don't yeah. know. Is he blind? Uh, fuck, dude. I, it's one of those weird, like, it's it's like whenever you hear stories about this yeah. and you and you read, like, the article, like, Jews are building a tunnel underground, <laughs> you're immediately like, this is, like, the onion. Like, this is bullshit. Yeah. This can't be real. Written by Alex Jones. What? <laughs> he was right. Who yeah. would have fucking thought? You got another over there to the jars like give me my fucking money back. <laughs> oh god. They discover a lab in that synagogue and it's like a whole like it's like a whole like chalkboard on how they're making a chemical that will make frogs gay. <laughs> and then you're and then he's just like I've been telling you. <laughs> that would be fucking hilarious, dude. <laughs> it just keeps going deeper. Or no, it's like how to turn to frog frogs gay and it's all of his supplements. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Just to he, fuck with them. Yeah. The news has been popping off, and it's only January, dude. Yeah. Like, did you see that jellyfish uh, UFO video? I heard about it. I don't know what to think of it, because I always I always hate footage like that, because I'm always like, it, it's so easy to kind of doctor this shit. But there's, they showed that one, and they released more videos of similar ones from years before, like a couple of them. Mm-hmm. And there's one from like 2009. It's the same exact, pretty much like shape. It's the jellyfish UFO, and there's dogs like trying to nip and bark at it. Mm-hmm. So they're like, it's it's either a really small UFO, a probe, or it's like one of the actual aliens just floating around. Maybe it's Jerry Jellyfish from SpongeBob. That's what I'm hoping. I was waiting for someone to uh, edit in like SpongeBob putting on like his safety glasses. <laughs> yeah, safety first. <laughs> And he has that gay pickle that keeps getting shocked with him. Oh, yeah. What was up with that pickle? You guys an asshole. He was, a, he was supposed to be like a sea cucumber. Yeah, but he was but, a pickle. Yeah. Yeah, because he was sour. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing I remember. So it's fucking like little, what do they, they call it? Uh, anchovies. Yeah, the anchovies. I love the anchovy characters on there. It's mm-hmm. meat. <laughs> meat. But um, that happened. The the demons coming out of Miami happened this year, right? Or was that last year? Uh, no, that was this year. That was this year, but it, I, I was hearing all different types of the story. Yeah. Okay, so the first one I heard was people being like, oh, these fucking like, eight-foot-ass aliens were just walking around the mall, and everyone's freaking yeah. out, right? And then you started getting like testimonies from like authorities saying, like, no, it was just a bunch of teenagers who... Who uh, who showed up and set off a bunch of fireworks and people thought it was gunshots and they shut the whole place down and then people started calling the police saying that there's a shootout at the mall and then you know they were they apprehended the teenagers and then I was watching a bunch of videos where people were like well, we have video footage that the aliens were walking around and it's just like shadows yeah. like the people recorded of fucking like like lampposts and shit yeah it's fucking dumb uh, it's it's the it's the fucking worst it's like I don't don't like. The footage that they got in Vegas that the Mexican family caught of like the alien heads like behind like the like, like equipment and shit. Oh, yeah, that that's good. that was more believable than any of it. The Mexicans were like, hey. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but they had the right idea. Yeah. But what is it? They um they recently uh I don't know if you saw it, but they were talking about like they recently like discovered like lights on a nearby planet. Uh yeah. I heard that was bullshit though. I don't know, because the thing yeah. is, like, there, there's so many conflicting, like, articles, and I'm like, who the fuck is, like, because, you know, it's always, you always have to find the credibility of who's, like, giving you this information, because yeah. a lot of times it could, the same person who's telling you, like, hey, we found lights on another planet are the same ones that are, like, 
the ice wall is real. Like, fuck you. Yeah, like, no, bud. Like, it, it just, it does suck when that happens. Like, someone has, like, it's, like, it's credible, like, facts, and, like, they have, like, proof. Mm-hmm. But then they follow it up with the ice wall. What if they did invent a way to, like, propel themselves to, like, nearby galaxies to see if there actually is life on other planets? And they made it to that planet that they claimed that had human, like, like, like mm -hmm. sources of light there. And they get there, and it's just a whole, like, civilization of acidic Jews <laughs> building tunnels. <laughs> and they're like, then you find out that's why they're building tunnels. The mothership is telling them to build tunnels. <laughs> Build the tunnels, my children. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure the walls face the west. Though. The reason why they're protecting Israel is because that's the portal back home. <laughs> it's like Outlander, dog. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Stargate. Stargate. But it's like the star. It's the the Stargate is in the shape of like the Star of David. <laughs> <laughs> Pull out like a Harry Potter one. They have to draw the Star of David. <laughs> no, not a Harry <laughs> Potter one. It's a uh, um, what is it? It's the menorah. Uh, the yeah, so it has, like, all the prongs on it, so it shoots, like, uh, you know, eight flashes of magic instead mm -hmm. of one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't get over that fucking tunnel, dog. Like, it's, know, like, it's, fuck? it's so fucking ridiculous. I want to know how far it goes. Like, how, like, because, what is it, the mayor was, like, we're sending all of our police force down there. Do we have any footage of Cat Williams talking about Jew tunnels? <laughs> Because he fucking, you know, he let out, like, Yeah, a he lot let of, a lot of shit. The one that I saw recently was he was invited onto another radio show, and he was talking about this whole thing about him um, uh, being confronted ab uh, about, like, another comedian named Ali Sadiq, right? Mm. And uh, basically, the whole story was that Ali Sadiq claimed that he was... Supposed to open up for Cat Williams, he showed up to the arena, and then they told him that he wasn't going to, like, perform, and they just told him to get the fuck on out, you know? And then Cat was like, one, I don't even know who that guy is. Like, I'm not, he's like, I'm not even joking. I don't, I didn't know who the guy is. I know now because I looked into him, and I was mm -hmm. like, okay, this guy actually is a good comedian, and he's from the Houston area, and that's where I was performing where he claimed this happened. Yeah. But the thing is, you need to understand, when I'm on tour, I have a set, like, I have a set, like, group of comedians that come with me mm -hmm. and ones who are going to meet me in certain cities to perform with me. Yeah. He's like, if I didn't know who you are, how the fuck would I invite you? Does he just think because he's from there and he's, like, popular in the area that he just gets to fucking perform there? Yeah, there's a lot of, like, comedians or, like, artists and stuff like that think like that. Yeah. Like, I remember uh, I went to a, a concert uh, this past year uh, in Atlanta, and this uh, local band was called up to play with the, the bands that were coming through. Bro, these were the most pretentious fucking groups of people I've ever met. Like, the band itself, and then they had, like, the little group of friends that showed up, too. Yeah. First <clears> of all, <throat> these guys were, like, it looks like they spent more time on their hair than, like, in their music. Because mm -hmm. their best song that they played was a cover of... Like a Van Halen song, <clears throat> yeah. It's a pretty um, it's a pretty dated um cover. Yeah, I mean it was good. They did a good job, but I'm like, it sounds like you guys just practice this one song, and the rest you just say fuck it, let's wing it. Yeah, yeah. If we just look the part, yeah, we'll, like people will like. And it, it was the guy and his brother, and they both played guitar, and then they had another guitarist as well. So I'm like, so why do you have three guitarists? You guys aren't even like doing much y'all are doing the same like fucking like rhythmic chorus sound and that's it yeah i, and, I, uh, I hate when people have like these weird like music ideas i remember mm -hmm. that was the whole thing with like the people used to give Whitechapel shit for they used to have three guitarists yeah and they're all their whole thing was like oh the reason we do this because we try to create a wall of sound of like of Your speakers <laughs> uh, of, of, yeah but i'm just like bro like oh, you don't have to do that yeah. though you can just fucking make sure your guitars are heavy enough yeah but like um both of the guys sung too, and they were both doing like the nineties. Hey, oh, oh, oh. can you take me? Yeah. High? Hello, my friend, with me again. So they were doing that shit, and then they afterwards they got into the crowd like to watch the other bands too, mm -hmm. to like mingle with their like four fans that were their friends. Um, and most of the show they were right next to us, bro. These guys had no sense of like like care for anyone else they kept mm -hmm. pumping into me i pushed them back so many times and like he almost like 
fucking nailed a hand on the face with his elbow. Mm-hmm. Bro, I was so mad. And then finally they moved away because I finally pushed one of them hard. Yeah. Um, but it's just, like, don't be a pretentious asshole. Just because you, you, you have a following in the city that you're from and someone comes and invites you or you think someone should invite you, don't just show up and be like, oh, I should be here. You got to be careful around this yeah. type of musicians because they tend to be very, like, egotistical and narcissistic. And they tend to be manipulators, too. Oh, yeah. That happens a lot. Uh, you know, they always end up being on fucking some YouTube video apologist. Like, I swear she was 18 when I was there. <laughs> like, fuck you. Like, bro, you picked her up from middle school. Like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> I thought she was a teacher. The fuck, dude? She had a backpack on. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, what else happened in the news? A lot um, of people were fucking fighting over those goddamn Stanley Cups. Did you see that bullshit? Again? Yeah, they released some kind of exclusive, like, pink and red um, Stanley Cup. I don't know. I think I, I guess it's, like, for Valentine's Day or something. Uh, and then they fucking, they, like, were trampling people over these fucking cups. And, dude, it's were like. Were they all white women? Yeah. And I remember yeah. somebody made a really funny meme about it on TikTok where they were, like, it's like uh, the Stanley Cup being put into the drawer where he meets the Yeti Cup and then the Hydro Flask yeah. Cup and then all <laughs> yeah. the other cups that were. Uh, there's the cup that you receive as a gift that that has like glitter on it mm-hmm. with like, your name on it and yeah. shit. Dude, the, all, they're just cups, guys. It's Come just on. The fat. And it sucks because like uh, I saw a TikTok because this guy is a construction worker, and he's like, like you bitches need to fucking stop. Do you understand how much Stanley has gone up in price? We used to buy that shit for us, for construction workers, because it worked. Mm-hmm. Now y'all made the price, like, triple. Because, like, you know, a Stanley Cup, it's pricey. And, you know, when something gets popular, the price gets jacked up. Because they're yeah. really special editions. Or, oh, this is the vintage cup, and if you want that, it's on special order. And you have to pre-order and all this other bullshit. And there's just a bunch of construction workers being like, well, now i got to go buy some, like, rinky-dink-ass Walmart thing. Because I yeah. can't afford a Stanley Cup now. I, I don't know. I just think it's dumb. Like, it yeah. doesn't matter. Like, I don't, like, I don't, like, I have, I own, like, a Yeti cup that I've had for a while. And it's, like, it, look, when when the Yeti cups were the fad, for whatever reason, I was, like, what's the point? They're, like, oh, it really, it keeps your drink cold for so long and your your hot drink's hot as it gets. So, it's just well insulated. Is, yeah. that the, is that the whole deal? And I bought one. I was, like, this isn't as great as people think it is. See, I didn't buy a Yeti cup. I was gifted one. Mm-hmm. And I had just had it at home or I use it at work. That's it. Yeah, I use it at home more than anywhere. I, just, I don't like taking it. One, it's a bulky ass cup. Mm-hmm. But then yesterday, um, when we were like on that trip up to Tennessee, mm-hmm. uh, before we ended up coming back, that's a, that's a different story though. But um, uh, my, uh, my brother's girlfriend had a Stanley cup. And then, you know, she was like, can you put this in the cup holder? And I was like, yeah. And one, it, it, it's a hard fit because it's such a weird fucking oblong shape. It looks yeah. like a can of Pringles, yeah. you know? And I put it in there and I'm looking at it. I'm just like, this cup's kind of ugly. And also, this is a big ass cup. And women are just walking around with these giant ass fucking cups. I think I sent you one. Is this black guy making fun of that? Mm. He, um, he uh, put a piece of paper that says Stanley on the side of a trash can. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just like walking around with it. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm not going to be surprised if, like, the next, like, sometime this year or sometime next year, some new fucking cup comes out that every, it's always women that rally behind these fucking cups. A specific type of woman. It's the, what is it? It's the. Uh, Soccer mom. No, it's the alpha mom. The alpha mom? Yeah. What the hell is that? It's the mom that's, um, wears the puffy vest, keys on the finger, uh, doesn't text, talks to text. Uh uh drives a minivan she's the mom that's always at like the kids sporting events yelling like she's the fucking coach and like cussing at the kids because she's just has nothing else in her life and she has a f- group of friends that look almost exactly like her but they just hate each other yeah yeah there was a tiktok i saw about it and i was like this is i've seen this so many times i had friends that were, their parents were just like this it's funny as shit it makes me think of like you know how some people just don't have like the social intellect to not like watch stuff on their phone at full volume. Yeah, dude, dude. I, when I, at the last company I worked at, which was a corporate ass company, Mm -hmm. you know, you'd go to break room. The break room is always packed. Everyone there is typically like on their phones. And most people 
bring headphones yeah. so they can, you know, not worry about their volume being too loud so they can listen to music or, you know, some of them might even be on a phone call. You yeah. know, that is a little bit annoying, but if you're quiet enough and you're not trying to be like too like, cause some people are like fucking shouting on the phone. It's hey. like, bitch, you will not believe like, like, yeah, like all that kind of shit. Yeah. But I remember there used to be this one dude. I don't know what fucking country he was from, but he would like bring out his lunch he put his phone down and he would watch like I like TV shows from his country, which is just some like random ass like language I didn't understand. And I'm not trying to be offensive or anything. It's just I truly didn't understand. But yeah. you know, it was typical like how do do how do do ha 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 you know a crowd of people laughing and then it'd be like moments where it gets silent. He'd be like woo 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 like you know like like you know like kind of like, wacky sounds. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I was like, it sounds like he's watching a fake show. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? He's probably <laughs> fucking with everyone. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fucking funny if yeah. it was. But no, I remember one time I walked past and I was watching what he was watching. And it's literally just random clips from his home country of people doing wacky stuff. Like, you ever seen the clips that come out of India where oh, they're just like, oh. They're raping the women? <laughs> no, it's always one of like them like stopping a guy and turning him around to fucking like confront him about something and the mm. guy is like super beautiful and then he's or, oh, or, yeah. or he kind of looks beautiful mm, yeah and then he's just like yeah and, it's so fucking yeah. stupid yeah it, it doesn't yeah. make any fucking sense like i mean foreign humor is for it's it's for who it's for and you it's know? that same like whoosh, yeah <laughs> The only foreign guy I like to watch is the fucking uh, handsome dude with the uh, spice store. The guy, oh, with, yeah, the guy yeah. with the big mustache. Yeah. And he does the slow wink. The, oh, God. So <laughs> gross. I feel like if you're there without the music, you can hear him winking. I remember this one where he's just walking slowly and he gets into a car. And he's not staring at the camera directly. And he does the slow wink into the rear view mirror. <laughs> and he, he drives away. But his <laughs> eyes are dead forward like. <laughs> it's so fucking funny it's dude i, I want to go to a store because like some indian humor is actually really is funny. he indian uh yeah there i thought he was like some like other middle eastern no i'm pretty sure he was in india i He's could be too, it sounds terrible it looked too clean uh, to be indian maybe i maybe mean northern I, india maybe northern india i don't know i've never been to india i don't know how to like like differentiate from like what areas I, I had a buddy he's he's from like northern india like the mountain area mm -hmm. and uh i told him i was like yeah i have really no desire to go to india because it's just like from all the people that have gone that i've heard from and all the videos and everything as soon as you get off the fucking plane you have fucking like diarrhea because it's just in the air you just smell like, it <laughs> yeah. you just smell the air yeah. and get diarrhea no, he says, like the air the air pollution there was um what was it fucking like it was after COVID, you know, the year where everything, the world got like slightly cleaner. Yeah. In India, after COVID, they had a marathon. It was, it was like kids of all ages running this marathon. It was, and the doctors came out and said, these kids' lungs look like they smoked fucking 12 packs today because of all the pollution that was in the air. Ugh. It's fucking ridiculous. Like, it, it's that bad to breathe the air where they were at there in India. And I think they were, like, in Dubai. Not Dubai. Fucking uh, Dubai. New Delhi. <laughs> New Delhi. Yeah. Uh, but, no, he's from, um, he's from like, northern India. And he said, like, uh, if you're in north India, completely different story. It's very clean. Uh, the people are a lot nicer. It's not packed full of people. It's, like, he says it's really nice up there. So I was like, okay, maybe I'll visit north India then. But southern India, fuck that place. It's a... I, I guess it's a more poorer region where they have less, like, you know, cares. I mean, there's a lot of poverty, is it not? In, yeah, in but it's, it's it's just fucking gross, dude. Like, yeah. The, the thing that I always harp on is, like, the Ganges River is their sacred river that they're, it's like a religious thing for them. Mm -hmm. Why do they fill it full of trash? Why do they dump shit into it? Where are they getting all this trash from? What? Themselves. <laughs> it's a, it, it feels like they're just recycling their own trash. Yeah. Oh, God, and then fucking uh, just I hate all the street foods, the videos. I'm getting so sick and tired of finding those on my feed, dude. Yeah. They, they disgust me so much. Occasionally, you'll bump into one where it's just, like, an endearing thing, you know? I saw one of, like, this kid who's, like, not even 17 years old that makes, like, little potato spirals. And you see his whole thing, and it's, like, it's, it's cleanlier than most 
videos I've seen, yeah. you know? Like he's did you got, see the guy that's like, cross leg with the juices all over him? And then someone cleans up his thing by throwing some water all over it, and it just goes under him? Yeah. And it's just sitting there. So imagine how that fucking smells after, like, a hot day there. Ah, dude. And, and, it, and he's one of the most visited stalls there. Ugh. Yeah. I always think about that video of the dude chopping meat with his toenail. <laughs> that one fucks me up. Yeah. I'm like, God. Or the guy making the non with his armpit. What? Yeah, so he's missing an arm, and you have to, like, eat it. Mm -hmm. So he grabs a chunk of it, oils it up, oils his armpit up, throws it in there, and just slaps it out. There you go. Ready to cook. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping he shaves that fucking pit, dude. I remember there's a... There's this one guy who is Indian, and he was, like, reacting to these videos, mm -hmm. and he's just like, I'm going to justify what they're doing. He's like, no, uh, he'll cook out the bacteria with that. Like, he, he's doing it jokingly, right? Yeah, and he's yeah, like, yeah. yeah, he touched that with his hands, but it's going to get boiled. And there's one where a guy is just straight up just spitting into, like, food, and mm -hmm. he was just like, um, <laughs> he brushed his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> no. It, oh, God. The other one that's kind of gross to me too, like it doesn't touch the 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 stuff that you eat, but when they they're preparing for it, mm -hmm. it's just like the dirty fucking like road salt, and then they have dirty ice, mm -hmm. and they have like these snow cone things, so it makes like like ice cream. Yeah, and I don't know. I just feel like from them splashing it, it's just getting into the cone parts, so you're just eating all that dirt and debris and shit. I don't know. We've been shitting on India for a little bit now. Yeah, this yeah. is starting to look kind of racist. Y'all need to get your shit together. I'm sorry. Well, like, at least they're not building tunnels. Yeah, maybe they are. <laughs> I mean, where were they build them to? Ah, we found this secret reservoir of diarrhea. Yep. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> mm, yum, yum, yum. God. Get it by the bucket. Like, I'm not, I'm like, you know, every nation has their shitty parts. Like, Mexico, there's been a few places where I'm like, I probably shouldn't have eaten there. I've been some I've been some pretty like yeah. weird spots. Like you go somewhere that's like there's no animals around this area, no dogs, no cats, like but this food's fucking busting, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I had horse down there. Horse. Yeah, because it's not illegal. Uh -huh. yeah. Um it wasn't bad. I didn't know it was horse when I was eating it until mm. afterwards when I saw the <laughs> the fucking meat truck come by and drop a half a horse down for them. God damn. But uh Yeah. It was good. Mm. I'd try horse again. This is like the first time we've ever recorded like super early. I know, seriously. It feels weird. It yeah. feels weird because I just woke up, so I'm still kind of like waking up a little <laughs> bit. It's amazing that we've gotten this far without me just being like, I need caffeine. I mean, I got my diet Mountain Dew over here, Mountain Dew Zero. Yeah, I had a coffee, so I'm pretty wired right now. That Burger King coffee slaps. Does I it? like it. I think a lot of people shit on it. I've been eating a lot of Burger King lately because it's, like, the closest, like, restaurant to my job mm. that I can, like, quickly get to and grab, like, a burger or something to eat and come back. I'm glad that they brought the wraps back. I did see that. I haven't tried yeah. them yet. They're pretty good. I just did it without How big the, are they? Uh, they're good size. It's uh, pretty much, like, two chicken tenders. Oh, okay. There. So it's a good size. But uh, I get it without, like, the – I just get, like, the classic one. Mm -hmm. But I tell them no ranch and then just put barbecue sauce on it. Okay. Yeah. Because it's just the lettuce, tomato, a little bit of cheese, barbecue sauce, and the chicken tenders. Mm. Yeah. Gotta have it your way, dog. Yeah. Yeah. Have it away. <laughs> uh. Can you make sure you don't wash your hands? Can you cut the food with your toe? <laughs> like, does you have someone out there with like a really fucked up little toe? Yeah. Yeah. Tell them to touch it. Plant it with your armpit. <laughs> Can you wash your hands like in the sauce first? That's the part that's great. Like when the when they do like the like the the fried dough, it's almost yeah. like a funnel cake. The guy dips his entire fucking hand into it and then uses his fingers as the spouts and just <laughs> <laughs> drizzles it into the oil and then dips his hand into it so that way it comes off. The thing I don't understand is that sometimes when they're making like soups and sauces and shit, and they and stick it, their arm into well, it. Well, it just looks like it looks like the shit that you're cleaning out of your sink. You yeah. Know? It looks fucking disgusting. I'm like, I don't understand what that food is supposed to be. 
it's hard to convince me that that is going to taste good. Because, mm-hmm. like, the majority of the time, if it looks gross, it's probably going to taste gross. Yeah, but I'm not going to fucking eat it after your, like, whole family's hands have been in it. I mean, that is questionable, though. Because, I mean, anybody, some people can look at, like, a bowl of menudo and be like, that looks weird if they've never had it before. Well, yeah. But it's not until you try it and you're like, ooh, that broth slaps. But even, like, I've had white friends come over and see the menudo. Even they say, it's like, I don't know what that is. It's pretty good. It's yeah, a, it, it just it presents better. I remember um, one time I had menudo with some um, some of my white friends came over and stuff, right? And I had, was like pouring it into a bowl because I was getting ready to eat some of it, yeah. right? And they walked by and they're like, "Dude, that looks fucking gross, but that shit smells so good." Yeah, it's about the smell too. Yeah, like it can look like a piece of shit, but if it smells like chocolate, yeah. And like, I told you might them, take a bite. I told them it's like if you don't like soft, like squishy textures, you're not gonna like the tripe in there. Yeah. But the tripe is tastes so fucking good because it soaks in. It's because it's basically you know it's just, it's just fat. It's just fat, and it's yeah. it's it's sucking in all that flavor. Mm-hmm. And when you bite into it, it's like you know it takes yeah. you, it takes you to a different plane of reality. <laughs> you meet the the Aztec gods. And they're like, mm, oh shit, it's Jim Morrison. <laughs> you tried the menudo, didn't you? <laughs> you wake up and you're in a desert, ah, naked, ah. <laughs> Why am I naked? You had the menudo, my child. <laughs> it's an eagle talking to you. <laughs> Is that you, Jesus? My name's Jesus. I was like, oh, fuck. oh shit, he's Mexican. Oh, and- so that's racist, bro. What? What do you mean? Yeah. What would what would Jesus' name sound like in you know the ancient? Arabic that he probably talked. Um, Aramaic. And or then, Aramaic, whatever yeah, it is. But I, I actually saw this whole video, and they were talking about, like, apparently there is no translation for Jesus in Aramaic. Because people believe that it was a translation done by the Greeks. <laughs> I and, thought you were about to say a trans. <laughs> no. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a fucking thing? Someone goes back in time and realizes that Jesus was actually trans. No. So apparently a Muslim, uh, I saw this this whole Muslim dude who was like delving into the whole history of it. And he was like, in Aramaic, there is no word or name for, for Jesus. Yeah. But the closest translation for Jesus is actually in Greek, in G and Zeus, J-E and Zeus. Apparently that means hailed Zeus. So people think that maybe Greeks had basically changed his name to make it like basically kind of like the fuck over like that belief yeah and if you go into ancient texts apparently his name was supposed to be like jo- uh, jonas or, or 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 not jonas but it's like it's something similar it's a, it's a j starting name uh uh and then they just like changed it over to um to jesus yeah which could potentially uh translate to hell zeus and then on top of that, you know, obviously, um, they just turned him into a white man, which, yeah. like, that's not what he was supposed to, like, actually look like. That's not Jesus, that's Jason. Yeah. yeah. He's supposed to, like, look like people of the time, yeah. you know, so he should have been, like, brown. Short. And short. A little bit of a kinky beard. Yeah. Uh, maybe black. Uh-huh. Yeah, because that was a thing. Missing an arm, making an on bread. <laughs> No, Jesus probably looked like one of them fucking, like, guys making the food out there. Yeah. Yeah. Like, sorry, he was selling you fucking cell phone cases at the flea market. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I, was, I haven't been to the flea market here in a while. Yeah. There you go again. I stopped going for a while. Yeah. I, we, should, I, we should do an episode where we just buy random things. From from the, uh, from the flea market. Well, I was thinking about, um, I'm trying to get us set up to start doing some like gaming YouTube stuff. So we can like put some extra content out there. And, uh, one of the ideas I had is like, have you ever seen GeoGuessr? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, We're going to fucking suck at that. Yeah, no, but we were going to really put our knowledge to like test and see if we can figure out where the fuck it, because some of them are very hard, Yeah, but I, one guy that can figure it out to the T, like maybe like five miles off. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what the fuck dude? Yeah, you have to find a lot of context clues. Uh, excuse me. But he can tell by, like, the sand and the soil and shit. Yeah, it's alive. I dropped my phone. Um, what were we going to talk about this episode? 
We were originally going to talk about cryptids, yeah. and then, but I got distracted about the Jew tunnel, so I couldn't really focus on anything. They're the real cryptids right now. <laughs> yeah, they are, they're coming out of the fucking woodworks. The video of the guy crawling out of the fucking grate was hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, he's just like coming out, and then he pushes the camera guy out of the way. <laughs> Stop you it. didn't see anything. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Um, so are there ascetic Jew women? I never see women. Yeah, but they, um, it's weird because I think they do wear like a head wrap too. Uh huh. But it's not really because you can't see them. It's just like part of their garb. Um, I mean, again, they're second class to the men. Yeah. So, yeah. I hope no one thinks that we're being anti Semitic talking about this Jew tunnel. It's just funny. Yeah. Let's, let's not take it too far. Like if it was like a like a Christian tunnel. But if there it was a, a Jew to rip on, it's the acidic Jew. Apparently they're like the ones that are, are a bit like mean to people. Yeah. I love the videos that when they put like that hard ass thug ass rap onto them. Yeah. And they're all doing the dances. <laughs> yeah. One of my favorite videos is this one this black dude was recording himself like um approaching a acidic child. He's like, hey, man, that's real fuck. Hasidic. Oh, Hasidic? Yeah, yeah not well, Hasidic. Or whatever. They don't do, like, 2D damage. My bad, like, my know? bad. <laughs> 2D tens of damage. I'm just waking up, dog, okay? <laughs> um, Spit acid. Actually, they're snakes. <laughs> I'm starting to realize how actually tired I am because I fucking... I went to bed kind of late and then woke up at a decent time. Yeah. But it's like uh, I've been waking up super fucking early, like, Monday through Friday because of my job. Because I have to wake up, like, at 4 in the morning to be there at 5 and shit. <laughs> And then by the time that I get home, I'm so wired from work, I don't go to sleep yeah. or take a nap or nothing. I just stay up until it's time for me to go to bed again. And doing that for a week straight, oh, God, it's fucking. I miss working <clears throat> eight hour days. It, it does fucking suck when you don't have that. But killing it with that overtime, though. Are you going to overtime now? Yeah, because oh, I'm, work, nice. I'm working 10 every day, five days a week, so oh, I'm yeah. getting about 10 overtime, which is fine. I, I mean, with 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 uh, my current rate, I I mean, I got no complaints. We s- uh, although it does suck, though. It does totally go against the original plan, because I originally signed on to my job to be on the weekend shift, and then they delayed it by a lot. Yeah. I think that might come around in the next couple of months because from what i heard is that february is going to be a big month for us because we're going to be receiving like equipment that we need and it's going to like things are going to be moved around and that's like that was the main thing that we were waiting on for it okay. for it and if i can get on the weekend ship oh my god that's going to be fucking awesome that means i only have to work Three days and nice. I get four days off. Was it a twelve hour shift? It's twelve hour shifts, but dude, I working twelve hour shifts ain't shit. Yeah, it, they really aren't. I'm used to doing it. the The worst time I ever had working twelve hour shifts is when I used to do it six days a week. Now that mm. is fucking yeah, torture. that's way too much right there, bud. Dude, I was ready to fucking like shoot myself. Like it was bad. I that was at the last place you worked at, right? No, no, that no, was no. the last place I worked at. That, this was like a while back. See, I went to this company because my idea was like, okay, this company pays a decent rate and they get a lot of overtime so I can save up a lot of money working here and cover my bills and have good enough of money to like, you know, fund my wedding. This is around the time I, before I got uh, married, yeah. you know, and I lasted seven months before I quit <laughs> and I never got overtime. And the reason why was because I was constantly like, I can't do this. I got to go. Mm-hmm. Because, like, dude, like, the like, people don't realize that, like, the biggest part when it comes to jobs isn't the fucking, like, physical aspect. It's the mental aspect. Yeah. Because the thing is, you can get physically tired at a job, but if you love the work, that's never going to bother you. But if you are working a job that you want nothing to do with the mental like barrier that you have to build is fucking intense. Yeah. It's, it's so fucking rough. And I remember I was talking to my wife about this the other day and I, t- I told her, you know, what? I, I realized what I want more than anything in life right now. I want to stop being a worker. And she was just like, are you saying that you don't want to work anymore? Cause I hate to break it to you that you have to work. It's like, no, no, no you're not hearing me. <laughs> I am tired of being a worker, as in the old saying, if you do something you love, you never work a day in your life. Yeah, I want to do something like that, but it's hard for me because my I'm so indecisive about shit and I do get bored of shit a lot. Yeah. So and it's hard to be a jack of all trades, you know, yeah. like right now I enjoy what I'm doing, but there's going to be eventually a point where I'm like, 
uh, I've already done everything there is to do at this job. So this job is no longer challenging. So therefore it's no longer stimulating. And now I feel like I'm wasting my time. Yeah. The only reason that I don't feel like I'm wasting my time is that I'm making decent money. So, you mm. know, that helps me a lot. Well, you said this job is not as intense as the other one too. Well, my last one wasn't intense either. The main problem with my last job was the fact that the management was so hell bent on trying to like, you know, be, I guess, um, authoritative. After I left, one of my friends who worked there texted me and he's like, bro, they just, imp it, they just implemented a rule saying that if you use the restroom after you clock in, you will get written up. After you get clip, after you clock in, you have to report to your designated work area. And you can only use the restroom on your giving breaks unless it, it is an emergency. It's like, who are, who's going to dictate whether it's an emergency or not? Yeah. If I'm about to shit my pants because I have IBS or because I have like a fucking like, like diarrhea from like, you know, from having like a stomach bug yeah. or something and you didn't know. Like, how the fuck are you going to be able to tell somebody if you just so what leave? we're going to do is we're going to install cameras in all the toilets. And if we if you sit down and you're not prairie dogging, uh, that's not that's a write up. Yeah, it's insane. It's <laughs> insane that people can even fucking think like, oh, my stomach's starting to hurt again. Uh, oh, because you had milk. I had milk. I haven't had milk in so long. <sighs> fucking mini wheats are delicious. But I I realized Okay, the only reason we have a half a gallon of milk is because we bought milk to make um, some cakes. Okay. Because we had some cake mix in the drawer, and we we're like, this is going to go bad unless we make it. We might as well make a cake real quick. How long has the like, cake mix been in there? Huh? Not that long. Oh, okay. It was just like, you know, you're once you're getting close to, like, you know, having there for a certain while, you're like, if you don't if you don't make this, we're, it's just going to sit up there. Cause, yeah. Because um, we've had, like, pancake mixes go bad because, you know, we used it once, and then we're like, this is too, like, caloric. Let's not try to do this all the time. And then a couple of months down the road, and you're like, you know what? I could go for some pancakes. You open up the drawer, and that thing is all crusty because you never fucking sealed it up. Or Ooh, bro, best brand out there. Uh, my cousin got me on it. The uh, Krusty's uh, pancake mix. Krusty's pancake mix. Yeah, Krusty's. It, it gives it a nice crust uh, crunch to it. Mm. Yeah. Oh, you mean like when it has like that little flaky uh, ridge? But then the the top of it too is nice and crispy too. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my god. I'm gonna come. <laughs> Put it. <in. laughs> but no, bro. No. Um, have you gone to the Flying Biscuit? The Flying Biscuit. Yeah. No. Where, yeah. Where's that at? It's over in Alpharetta. They built one in Buford, uh -huh. but um, that, I I wasn't a big fan of it. It's just too. It looks like I mean the place expanded, of course. Yeah, that so they built this new location, but it's too modern at this one. Like, I like the one in Alpharetta because it's dirty and it looks like a fucking diner. Yeah. Like, it looks like a place that's been there for, it's been there for a while. So it's, you know, the tables are worn in, there's shit on the walls, you know, not actual shit, but just, it's dirty. But it's clean. Bro, they have this, it's a big ass Belgian waffle with peaches and compote on it and some, uh, like, whipped cream. Everything's made from scratch. Bro. Damn. You don't even have to put any syrup or anything on that bitch. Mm. It's so fucking good. I love when like you get something that doesn't need a topping. Mm -hmm. You can just eat it straight like that. That's like that's when you know the food is really good. Because yeah. for me, I've had a lot of food where I'm like, this is good, but a little hot sauce might like yeah. like level this up a little bit, or a little little this on there to kind of yeah. like level it up. Whenever some, there's some food that's good on its own, uh, but it's just a little bit of extra flavor on it's good too. Mm -hmm. Like uh, like I can eat uh, like anything from Waffle House on its own, mm -hmm. but. It, to enhance that flavor, Tabasco sauce, a little bit of ketchup, salt, pepper, you know, get that good mix in there. Oof. I like when you get like a gyro and they get a really good tzatziki sauce on it. Mm. Oh, Dude, I haven't God. been to the place down here in a while. It's good. In no, oh, I fucking so love good. it. Yeah. So fucking good. Yeah. I always but, go. Uh, the I always, salad always fucks me. I always go. The salad? What do you yeah. mean? The, the Something in the dressing. Hmm. Yeah. Like, I don't know what. Uh, and the same thing happens to my mom. The same thing happens to my dad. Because apparently they fucking love that place too. Are you allergic to like uh, fucking pepperoncinis or something? No, it's the it's the it's the dressing. Something in the dressing. Oh, do you think they're about putting blue cheese in there or something? I don't think it's blue cheese. I don't know what it is, but um, it might be like a certain spice or something. Because I've gone to different uh, uh, Greek places mm -hmm. and tried the salad too. Because they'll give you like a little side salad with the dressing, the Greek dressing. Yeah. 
and it fucks my stomach up, dude. Ugh. Like I'm shitting myself. You know what? I want to go Whoa. into another lane of conversation right now because I remember I've had this discussion with multiple people already. We need to talk about chicken tenders. What about them? What are your what are, what are your thoughts on the current state of chicken tenders when uh, it comes to restaurants? Like like let's uh, comparing Zaxby's to Canes to Huey I haven't Mag- had Canes yet. You haven't had Canes? No, or Huey Magoo's. You never had Huey Magoo's? Okay, one, Huey, there's a Huey Magoo's like here in town. No, I, I've delivered to them before. Yeah, whenever you get a chance, go there and give those tenders a try with like with your wife. Mm-hmm. You'll enjoy them. I do. I think they're a big step up from like a Zaxby's. Because Zaxby's has fallen off a good bit. The only thing about Huey Magoo's is they don't do wings. It's just all chicken tenders. The fuck? It's only chicken tenders. Why? But you can get them breaded, non-breaded, or rolled in sauces. And they have a good sauce selection. Okay. And when you try the tenders, you'll realize why. Now, Cane's, there's a Cane's in, in Buford. Buford. Uh, I went to it recently, and I went and tried it. And, you know, me and my wife, we like to, like, rate our food every time we have to eat it. We're like, okay, babe, what's your overall rating? And Y'all start a YouTube channel? No, no, no. We, 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 we just do it kind of, like, to ourselves because yeah. we kind of, like, give each other's perspectives on our – because our, there's a lot of places we I've gone to before where – where my wife was like, this is a 10 out of 10. And I'm like, this is an 8 this is out of 10. bullshit out of bullshit. No, for me, I'll be like, it's an 8 out of 10. Like, it's good, but it's not that good. Yeah. Like, and I'll, t- I'll tell you why, you know? And I put everything into consideration. Not just the food, but also the ambiance, uh, the, the location, if the parking was good. Like, I, I try to see if, like, the overall experience is good. Like, what did our waitress look like? Uh, yeah. She was a large black old woman. Did you call me sugar or baby? <laughs> no? This place is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a there's a TikTok. It's Jason Momoa. It's on the phone talking about like uh, just like uh, he's on the phone. And it says like when you're customer service and your client is a is an older black woman and she calls you baby or sugar. And yeah, he's like, oh, I don't have the answers for you, but I'll make sure I'll find it for you. <laughs> <laughs> I will do everything I can to find this answer for you. Yeah, <laughs> and then uh, if you do get a chance to go try out canes and stuff, the main thing I'll say is like. I just hear it's all hype now. It is a lot yeah. of hype. Here's the thing. The tenders are not bad, but they, they're they missing something. Mm. Like, you know how, like, when you bite into a chicken tender, you know it's a good tender whenever, like, the meat strips, like, really well, and it's got, like, a good, like, it doesn't feel like it's, yeah. like, it doesn't feel like it's the, the minced meat, like, tender. Like, it's a real fucking chicken tender. Yeah, it's a slice of breast. Yeah, it's yeah. an actual slice of breast. That's what I'll say. It's a good tender, but the breading on it, it's missing something. It doesn't have enough seasoning on the breading, and it kind of, like, takes away. And then the sauce they give you, it's kind of like, you know the taste of Zach sauce, right? Every no, rest- I don't like it. Every restaurant has, like, their own version of that same sauce, yeah. you know? I think the best one is from the Huey Magoo's place because they have a spicy version of it. It's the same sauce, but it's got a little bit of spice in it, and it's just right. Mm. Um. And, I, and yeah, I get it. It's basically just a it's just a fancy sauce, you know. Yeah. The if we're gonna talk about chicken tenders, you know, it actually has really good fucking tenders, and they're fucking massive. Mm. Uh, cheddars. Oh yeah. 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 Bro, those things are fucking good. And yeah. They're crispy. The, I I I got beef with cheddars right now. Why? What happened? Because I got rid of the mac and cheese. They replaced it with the broccoli casserole. Have you not tried the broccoli casserole? I have, but it's still no mac and cheese. Bro, fuck the mac and cheese. The broccoli mac and cheese. They, the mac and cheese they used to have was good because it was fucking. It was like a white. It was like a white cheddar. It was well seasoned and it was in the little shell pastas mm. and they were fucking delicious. They were it's good. They had no reason to get rid of it. Everybody got the mac and cheese. It was good. The thing is, I like the broccoli casserole mm. and I will get the broccoli casserole every time I go there. That's usually my go to because like if I do the if I do the, the you know, the surf and turf, whatever the fuck, and you get the two sides, it's always gonna be the broccoli casserole and a baked potato. Well it depends for me. Because if I get like a like, cause they brought that meatloaf back, and bro. That meatloaf is fucking, fucking, sh- fucking good. Hmm. I don't know. I always, uh, I always do the combination ones. I like getting steak and tenders, or steak and shrimp, or, well, no, or like, ribs and shrimp. No, yeah, I, I try the whole board. The ribs are pretty good. Yeah, fuck it, dude. I got a full rack. I eat for two days. You got to be careful though, because they, they will hit you with the itis so hard. Every time I go to fucking um to Cheddar's, I have to make sure that we go at a decent time. Because after we eat, we're coming straight back home. We're taking a nap. That food hits hard, dog. They uh, they yeah. they cooking that shit with fucking mountains of butter. Yeah. 
That shit was good. Yeah. But uh no, if I get if I get the if I get like a steak, uh whenever if I get a steak, I just want the steak. I don't want like the shrimp or the chicken to go with it. I just want a pe- fat piece of steak rare. That's the way I like it. Uh with the You eat your steak rare? Fuck yeah, dude. It's good for you. Oh damn. Yeah. I always go medium, medium rare. No, it's good for you if you eat it rare. Uh, yeah. Mm. Um I just don't like how ch- like chewy it is. I like to have it like in a good in between. I don't like one. I don't know how many times I've had to go through the atrocity of going with somebody that gets their steak well done. It's fucking. Yeah, it's fucking. It's, stupid. it's, it's the word. It, it's like uh, I. Uh, you don't even like it if it's a little pink. Yeah, I hate it when people are like they cut into it. It's well done, but there's a slight line of pink, and they just like throw a hissy fit. I remember one time I, I was grilling burgers at my mom's house, mm-hmm. right, and I like. The medium. That's how I cook them. Well, you little, little, a that. little pink in the middle. A little bit of pink in the middle. Do it's you make the burgers yourself, or do you buy yeah, them already made? I made them myself. Okay, good. Because we buy the pre-made ones. Oh Those no, no, no! Like well no, done. I get, I get the beef, and I fucking, yeah, I roll yeah, yeah. them up into the patty, and I fucking, you know, I take my time, make sure they're nice and juicy, well seasoned. Next time, get some pork, pork, and mix it with the beef. Ugh. No, it's a, uh, it's like, like a, uh, what is it? Do like a most of it beef. And then maybe like a handful of pork and mix it into it. Oof. Oof. That's not, that sounds like fucking cardiac arrest. It is, but it's fucking delicious. <laughs> I'm trying not to be too fucking fat. Well, about don't this eat stuff. two of them. Just eat one of them, you fat shit. Who the fuck are you to tell me how to eat my food? <laughs> Goddamn. I don't tell you how to eat shit. I'll be eating my own shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll eat my shit. Corn and all. Eat my shit. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that TikTok I sent you? Like forever ago. It's uh, I sent you a lot of TikToks. Uh, I know. Sometimes like I haven't been able to get on TikTok because my phone's been fucking <laughs> up. I get, every time I try to watch anything, I have a page refresh. Just watch it on the computer. Man, fuck iPhones. I'm getting sick of y'all. Yeah. Although I might get a new Sponsored iPhone. by iPhone. <laughs> no, fuck them. Yeah. I would um, not want to have an Apple sponsorship because it would just be like the weirdest. Like they're gonna make you do weird shit. Yeah, they are. They're gonna make everything like white. Yeah. Yeah. Although that would be kind of funny, is if we went super corporate sellout with it. <laughs> like I didn't. I don't know if you've been noticing this, but a lot of people have been going after fucking um, Tom Segura lately. Why? Because he has a lot of sponsors now. No, because like he's like he's been doing this whole bit for a while of like punching down, of like. A lot of his jokes have been revolving around him being like, oh, the pores are trying to tell me that. Oh, yeah. And then people are not liking it because they like there's there's one instance where he was talking about like, like, I'm not I'm not fucking poor. I don't wash with a washcloth. I don't wash my legs. That's bullshit, you know. And then people were just kind of like people were kind of taking it in the context of like, is he talking about like, is he like talking shit on black people? And then, of course, I was like immediately like, no, he's not doing that. But what yeah. I have noticed is that um, uh, I love Tom Segura's Completely Normal and Mostly Stories. And the one after that, uh, Ball Hog, I think, is the one. Or is it? No, it might be a one. There's a different one before that. But well, whatever. His his specials are getting kind of like not that great. I mean, that happens. I know, yeah. I know, but I th- a lot of people have mentioned that like I the reason for the decline is mainly because after the pandemic he went on this crazy long war t- uh, world tour, and then after he finished it he only took like a month off before he started another one. He burned himself out. And then the one he just finished up, he just started announced another one. He's only gonna take like a short break and then he's going right back to it. He's gonna do another hundred fucking cities. Jesus. Dude. And people are like, whenever you're constantly on the road like that, you don't have enough time to do anything. Yeah. And then people have been saying, like, a lot of fans of YMH have been noticing that the the um, the podcast has kind of been going down a little bit, like, entertainment-wise. Because he comes, it, it's always like he comes in, he's super unprepared because he just got back from the road. Mm-hmm. And then... Uh, because of that, it kind of like fucks up the whole thing. If he's got a g- guest on, and if he's got a guest on, he didn't do like the the amp- research, the or, research or the yeah. ample time to like figure out anything. Because they, because um, uh, people always bring up the Quentin Tarantino episode. He had Quentin Tarantino on, right? And he was telling Quentin about like, oh yeah, so I read your book, and he's like, I remember I got to the point where you were like talking about this, and he's like, that's literally the first chapter. <laughs> 
that's as far as you got. You got far. You got to the first chapter, and he's like, "Dude, I've been on planes and shit, like going back and forth. Like, you know, I'm been busy." He's like, "Yeah, but like, I mean, like, I'm your just read on the fucking plane." He's just like, "I'm <laughs> your fucking guest. Like, the least you could do is read my fucking book." Like, you know, Quentin, maybe, was, Quentin was giving him a lot of shit, or maybe it was a bit. Maybe it was. Yeah, because a lot of people do that shit now. It's hard to tell, but I know a lot of people have like, you know, have their opinions on them. I know I see a lot of people go after um, his wife, Christina P. Her, um, why her comedy is just kind of like not hers. I feel from what I've seen, she's more deadpan. <sighs> like yeah. it's, it's not like, jo- it's like, it's like words, words, punchline. <laughs> hers is just like, Oh, this is that. And here's the punchline in here. And she keeps going. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, she's like mom humor. Yeah. And I'm just like, it's kind of like, you know, I mean, I don't understand why people love Burt Kreischer so much, but he's popular for whatever reason. Yeah, I he's mean, just he, not, he's just not for me. Yeah, the whole, like, take your shirt off bit. You're like, you're the party guy? Yeah. I'm, I'm like, like, you're also, like, pushing 50, I think, or in your 50s. Yeah. But, I mean, I get it. You have a gimmick and you ran with it, yeah. and it worked out for you. I just wonder if he's tired of it. Mm, I would say... No, because I feel like a lot of those dudes run on just getting attention, and he he's good at doing that. He's like good a, at getting the attention. It was like the blue collar guys. I tried to watch his movie, couldn't do it. Yeah, no. I got really bored of it like halfway through. I've been doing that a lot lately. It's if, like um like when they try to make a movie off of like a bit, mm-hmm. like it, it works like like it th- there it's the whole SNL thing. Like because Coneheads was a was a SNL bit. Uh. Blues Brothers. Blues Brothers. I think uh, Tommy Boy. That kind of branched off from like all of his characters that he had on uh, on SNL. Um, what's the other one? What's the one? Uh, McGruber? McGruber. McGruber. Yeah, Is that it McGruber? Was one. Yeah. One? Um, it's just like movies like that. There's a couple others. Uh, yeah. There's the there's the 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 uh, the Molly. Um, is it Molly Shannon or Mo- or Molly Sellers? Is the two ladies? No, is it, she's the one. She used to be. On, she's the. I don't know, but yeah, she's it, like the character that's trying to get into Jesus Superstar. Oh yeah, what's the fucking name of that character? I forgot. But she's played by Molly. Yeah. Fucking, is it her name Shelders or I don't Shel- know. She's like the opposite of Tina Fey. Yeah, I know. But then Tina Fey also did Baby Mama. Yeah, there was a, there there's was also, a bunch of them. There's a bunch of them. Yeah, they're all terrible, really. Some are. Some are actually funny. Date Night was kind of good. Yeah, I like Coneheads. Coneheads was good. Yeah, a classic. Uh, but it's just like, I think they're trying to get back into that where like people are taking bits and skits and trying to make them into something. Although I have been hearing that people have been going after SNL lately. What do they that? do now? They keep stealing content. Oh really? They're steal a lot of their a lot of their sketches are stealing from like unknown YouTubers or oh, wow. or smaller YouTube channels, mm-hmm. and it's because one most of them aren't writing their jokes. They're just giving them to the fucking comedians for the skits, and they're they're coming from a writers' room, and these writers are on fucking creative. I know yeah. a lot of people were talking about like SNL had a whole bit about like the Charmin Bears, and it was identical to this one YouTuber who did the same thing. Mm-hmm. Of like where you know there was like the whole family the the the, the bear of uh, the the, yeah, the yeah. charming bears talking about like toilet paper and shit you know, and then one of them is like I'm tired of toilet paper like like we wipe our butts like the, 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 this is bullshit like this yeah. isn't a way to live and then it's, you know it's, the whole bit was just translated for like a more wider group of people for SNL and it I don't know it's a fucking yeah. headache TV is just, um, TV's just going to that realm now yeah they just need a I don't know. They need to, they need to reboot. They need to get better, or they need to get the new comedians out there now. Like all these comedians that are on SNL, they've been there for a while. A lot of them are already really well known, and they already have like careers and shit. They should have up and comers on there, like mm-hmm. less well known. Because uh, what is it, Michael Shea? Yeah, he was a writer on that show when he started out. Yeah, yeah, and he was never on on screen. His Santa specials actually are not that bad. Yeah, he's hilarious, dude. He's actually really funny. Yeah, and then uh, just the whole thing he does with the, what's his face, the Joss guy, what's his name? Yeah. Yeah, where they just, like, write each other's jokes and have to say them. My favorite one that recently came out was the when he brought up the lady that walked with Martin Luther King. Yeah. <laughs> 
I had no idea that uh, dude was married to fucking Charlotte Johansson. Charlotte Johansson. Charlotte, Charlotte Johansson. Goddamn. Charlotte. Charlotte, Charlotte Johansson. <laughs> Charlotte. Yeah. But uh. But I don't know, dude. Like I've, I've been getting. Lucky guy, I've been I've been getting to that point where I'm like I haven't been watching a lot of shows or. Or or non YouTube stuff because a lot of it just feels like unoriginal. You should. Uh, we started watching it. Uh, there's a show on Netflix called Louder Milk. Uh, oh yeah, I heard Will Sasso's on that. Yeah, he is. Um, he's fucking hilarious. On that's what I fucking missed, dude. Yeah. I missed Mad TV. That show was fucking awesome. That show was so good. Yeah. I don't know why it went away. It had such a great cast. It just went away that's where it had fucking you know it had jordan peele on it with with fucking um the other dude um yeah. michael key uh yeah yeah and then it had will sasso bobby lee alex yeah. bornstein um uh, alex bornstein michael donald the what's the the black ch- lady the black lady um i don't remember but she was fucking hilarious she dude. was really funny other people were talking about like you can't make bad TV in here. Remember, Alex Bornstein played a character that was just making fun of an Asian woman. Yeah, the, oh. Miss Swan or yeah, was Miss it? Swan. Miss oh no, oh. just a little bit of pot. I like uh, when they start breaking character. Like, um, what's his face? Uh, there's one where uh, I remember uh, Bobby like, Lee had a uh, had the car, and he opens the hood and it has a fucking rotisserie chicken in it, <laughs> and uh, for some reason they just. Both of them were just cracking up because he's like, check out my day. Woo. And he just keeps doing that over and over again. It's making them both crack up. And they <laughs> open the hood and he's like, and I got a rotisserie chicken under the hood. Look at that shit. <laughs> and they pull off like pieces of the chicken and they're both eating it. And they're like, mm. and then the actress that's playing with them, she's like, tastes like chicken. And he fucking breaks character, dude. He starts dying laughing. <laughs> he just turns around, cannot keep a straight face. <laughs> it's just the stupid bits like that. That... In writing, it sounds stupid. Like, it just sounds like it's not going to be funny. Yeah. But then they, they know that it's not that funny, and they can't get past the skit themselves, and they just start busting out laughing. Well, the thing I liked about Mad TV is, like, they weren't afraid to kind of push the line a little bit. Because, mm-hmm. you know, this is shit that they can't do on SNL. SNL is such a, like, corporate-esque mm-hmm. kind of humor thing. It's like, like, this is the kind of jokes that we're allowed to do for people on this network. And where Mad TV, like, if I remember correctly, Mad TV was, like, on Spike TV for a while. It was a like Comedy Central. Was it Comedy Central? Yeah. Well, but, God, it was so fucking good. Mm-hmm. It was so good. Like, it was one of the few shows that, like, was good on its own that didn't, like, need, like, to copy anything. Because, like, yeah. like Mad TV was never, like, a clone of Chappelle's show. Because, remember, after Chappelle's show ended after its second season because, you know, Dave didn't want anything to do with, like, Comedy Central anymore. They tried always tried to make clones of it. They yeah. did, after that, they did, um, they did uh, Mind of Mencia, and that was a fucking disaster yeah, because they find out, oh, Carlos Mencia is stealing jokes yeah. and he's stealing a it bunch of skits. It wasn't even that funny. It really wasn't. Yeah. And, and it was just his da 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 thing that he always did. Yeah, yeah, the fucking thing got really annoying. And, and apparently that was, like, a stolen bit, too. Was it, too? He stole it from George Lopez. George Lopez had that oh. in an old comedy special a long yeah. time ago. And then apparently he confronted him about it because apparently... A lot of comedians confronted Carlos Mencia. <laughs> yeah. From my understanding, it seems like this has always been a thing in every culture mm. where, like, you know, there was a hierarchy of Latino comedians that all yeah. had beef with each other because apparently between George Lopez, uh, uh, was it uh, John Ro- George Rodriguez? Yeah. Uh, Carlos Mencia and a couple of other guys, like they always apparently had beef with each other. Like Cheech Marin, also. Mm. Well, Cheech Marin's kind of separated himself because he was in movies, you know. Yeah. And his humor was different. Yeah, like he wasn't really. I don't think he was much of a stand-up comic. He was more like a prop comic, kind of. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, in a bit, like he did bits. Yeah. Yeah, like Chi, like Cheech and Chong was a whole bit that they created. Yeah, it's sketch. It's like sketch comedy. Yeah, and then uh, there was another one that he did, or all the stuff that you see in the movies, like the the cousin mm-hmm. that uh, from the Cheech and Chong next movie, Red. Yeah, that was another bit of his. Yeah, yeah, and he, all of those he just put in the movies. Yeah. But, yeah. And, and then um, what was I gonna say? And then the same right now with fucking Cat Williams unleashing the whole drama between the kings and comedy, mm-hmm. where they're like Cedric Entertainer, like can't do this shit. Uh, they didn't give Earthquake a show because he can't read. 
Um, Damn, that sucks. Yeah. Um, Earthquake's a fucking hell of a comedian. I don't know if you've ever seen his stand-up. He's got a stand-up special that was produced by uh, 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 Dave Chappelle. Oh, really? Yeah, because Dave Chappelle wanted... Uh, he wanted to do this whole thing where he was going to help like legendary comedians who've just never been in like the big spotlight an opportunity to have their own special oh, on wow. Netflix, right? So he did one. The first one he did was for um, Earthquake. I think he's going to do one for Tony Woods also, but I don't know when that's going to happen. But he's he's a fa- another famous comedian that came out of D.C. Earthquake came out of Atlanta, I believe. And um, I could be wrong. Either Atlanta or one of the Carolinas. But nonetheless, or maybe Memphis, but whatever. Um, yeah. His stand-up special is just fucking, like, hit after hit after hit after. Like, he's one of those, like, joke machines where okay. he's just, What's like, it called? Is it just called Earthquake? I think it's just called Earthquake. Okay. I'll have to watch it, man. He's a really funny comic because he's, like, just mm-hmm. fucking on the ball. Yeah, like, Dave Chappelle, he came out. He said some things that he probably shouldn't have. Oh, dude, have you seen his newest one? No, I haven't. He immediately starts it off with a trans joke. Are you fucking serious? And then after that, he's like, all right, I'm done. I'm done. I swear. There's no point in making jokes about these people anymore because it's just not fun anymore. Like, I'm getting fucking death threats over this shit. Like, it's fucking That's bullshit. Funny. And he's like, and then not even like 10 minutes after that, he does another one. Like, <laughs> he did so many tie ins to trans jokes throughout the thing. And, but they're yeah. all, he made them all seem unintentional. And the cool thing about that special was that it wasn't even like one of his best specials. It was just a very fun special. Okay. It was fun in the sense of like he was having a. He was having like a little bit too much fun up there because he was just kind of like telling stories about like how it was uh, like a lot of the life experiences he went through. He talked about yeah. like the whole like um, um, Chris Rock drama. He talked oh, about yeah. like what it was like getting older and this and that. <sighs> it, he even he even did something I didn't think was possible. He was able to turn a bad joke funny. He intentionally said a joke where he was like, I'm going to say this joke real quick. This joke never gets laughs because it's like, you know, I think it's funny, but no one else thinks it's funny. He says it. It's a very mediocre joke, right? Yeah. But he somehow managed later to re-reference that joke and make it funny. Oh, okay. I like it when comics are yeah. able to do that, like when they call back. Well, he's like one of the joke. best to do it, dude. Yeah. He's like one of the few dudes that can really push it. Now, that's where I was like kind of like, I'm a Chappelle show. There's a different tier of comedian that you just can't explain how they're so fucking good. Yeah. Like, like for me, it's like, for me, the Mount Rushmore of like, like the like comedians you can't explain why they're so good. Dane is- Cook. <laughs> <laughs> no. Although it sucks what happened to him though. Yeah. His brother stole all his fucking money. Yeah. Yeah. No, but I was gonna say, um, it's Dave Chappelle, Bill Burr, Bill Burr, Louis C.K. and um. Bill Cosby, don't you? Drink a little tricky poop. No, no, no. I would say um, probably Cat Williams. Yeah. Cat Williams is too fucking Bro, good. Bro, seeing Bill Burr was fucking hilarious. And I had talked about it here. Just someone in the audience, I guess, had like a medical emergency. Mm-hmm. And he just fucking rags on them the entire time they're laying on the fucking floor dying. Yeah. <laughs> like, I think they were having a heart attack. And he's like, how fucking dare you bring your fat ass in here <laughs> and die at my show at the end? I had one joke fucking left and you couldn't wait. <laughs> and then after a while, he's like, should I keep going or am I an asshole? Like, <laughs> and everyone's like, no, I'll keep going. I was like, I oh, think, you're the assholes. I, I would think, just imagine if he actually did die. Like, the mm-hmm. guy just died at his show after he made all these jokes. Like, that guy on the ground just, like, everyone was laughing at me, and I'm fucking dying. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's scary uh, when it happens to the comedian. I remember, um, apparently, a lot of people went to go see um, D.L. Hughley, you know, that yeah, comedian. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and this was back, like, during, like, the like beginning of COVID mm-hmm. apparently he went out there to perform and then he just passed out in the middle of his set. Oh wow. Like he was in the middle of a joke and then he just kind of like, and then he just fell over. Oh shit. And apparently he was like severely like dehydrated and he was um, like basically fighting off flu like symptoms. Cause he thought he had the flu, it's which be COVID. But he, but he had COVID. Yeah. And then, um, you know, when that shit hits you, dude, like I just got, you know, I got COVID near the end of the year, yeah. you know, ended 2023 with a bang. Hey, I fucking was so miserable when it finally hit me. Cause the first day I was like, Oh no, I feel sick. I, I should probably take a COVID test. And I had some of the home COVID tests. Mm-hmm. 
I took one. It immediately was like, you have it. I was like, fuck. <laughs> it, it talks, dude. It's like, oh, I didn't know these talk. They don't talk. Like, you're, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> you're gay. I'm like, what? <laughs> it's a gay test and a COVID test. I got the gay COVID. It's a well, it's a rainbow that pops up. What does that mean? It's like, oh, you have COVID and you like dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it means you have COVID, but you have the gay COVID, so it kind of works like a popper. Your butthole's just going to slowly expand. <laughs> just... Either you're in the you're a gay porn star, or you just really have bad COVID. Yeah. What if what if there was a disease that did that to you? Like, there's another COVID to where you have like flu like symptoms, but then you also have diarrhea. But it also works like a popper and <laughs> makes your butthole all loose. <laughs> <laughs> what would you call it? I have no what, fucking uh, the Lucy's. Huh. The Lucy's, the Lucy's, the Lucy, the Lucy Boosie, yeah, the Lucy Boos, the Bussies, <laughs> the Lucy Bussies. <laughs> sounds like a band. Lucy Boosies, yeah. Start a band called Lucy Boosies. <laughs> Every song starts with a. <laughs> 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 if it sounds like an old Diesel, like kind of sputtering out, you know, <laughs> you should probably go to the doctor. <laughs> oh God, dude, fucking. I hate getting sick. I missed a whole yeah. week of work for that. And I, I, I like when I get to like an actual excuse to miss work, but I also hate it because it financially devastates me. I'm like, I'm, a whole week yeah. of work is fucking. And yeah, it sucks. It's, it sucked. Yeah. I also, I, I, uh, I, I actually returned to work like wanting to work. Cause the thing is like when you get cooped up at home for like a whole week, it sucks, dude. Dude, fuck yeah. I didn't. I didn't do anything. Actually, after I got sick with like COVID, I didn't like. I didn't play Baldur's Gate at all. I haven't played it since. Are you serious? Yeah, because it cured like, you. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, we know you were doing all the gay ones. Yeah, mm-hmm. Liking that uh, that wizard a little too much, huh? <laughs> he does come on to you pretty hard though, right? The right off the bat. Which one? Uh, what's his face? Gale, the wizard. Really? Yeah, dude. I don't remember Gale doing that. I remember it was the druid guy that was like, kind of like. No, they, yeah, that guy's like, I'll ravish you. You're like, <laughs> what the what hell? The fuck, dude. He'll turn into a bear. Yeah. Yeah, and you could fuck the bear, which is weird. But you know, whatever. You get fucked by a bear, dog. Yeah. No, you fuck the bear. Oh uh, yeah, you. Yeah. Oh, you. Or you, you switch hit it. I don't know. I just don't know why you would do that. If if you had the ability to change into a bear, why would you immediately be like bestiality? It's just a freak, dude. Uh, I think it would make more sense if you were both druids and you both were bears. <laughs> I'm a bear. What are you? I'm a, I'm a rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. <laughs> no, you a fleshlight today. <laughs> but uh, what is it? The fucking. Uh, I was playing through it again, and I was just like, I'm gonna try to romance with uh, other people now. Mm-hmm. So I romance Lazeal, the the Githyanki chick. That's she's like the first one you can sleep with, like almost immediately. Yeah, but Jesus Christ, she's the dom or some shit. Like oh yeah, that. she's super dom. Yeah, she's actually the first one I slept with because yeah. it, I, it was like the first option. I was just like, this would be funny. She's like, I will take what's mine. It's like, oh my god. Apparently, she ends up having like one of the more romantic esque like like things, like because uh, it's kind of like what you, what you'll learn is that like, oh, she's not mean. She's just like very like. Hurt. Yeah. Yeah. And she, she's opened up to the character and been like, oh, yeah, you know, my childhood, I really didn't have one. It was survive or die. And- Dude, let me tell you something. Like, so there's this been this thing I've been dealing with lately, which I think is funny. It's like I um have um this particular person who, like, I, uh, I work with, right? And uh, he likes the game a lot. Okay. But he also is very, like, braggadocious about this shit. Yeah. And he recently, before we went to hall, um, went to like our Christmas break, he was like, "Yeah, I'm thinking about getting um, Baldur's Gate. Like, would you recommend it?" I'm like, "He's like, yeah, man, I've been playing it. It's super fun. Like, I th- I think it's fun. Like, the combat's fun, the interactions are fun, the story is pretty cool." And he was like, "All right, I'll definitely check it out." I hadn't seen him in like a week because <laughs> I, I hadn't seen him in a week because I was out for COVID. Yeah. Right. And then when I got back, you know, I ended up um, talking to him, and he was just like. I was like, yeah, so I ended up buying uh, Baldur's Gate. I was like, all right, how, how is it? And he's like, I'm already on Act 3. I was like, I was like, after a week? And he's like, yeah, I've been playing it a lot. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I was like, I think I'm just going to stop playing it. I'm like, why? He's like, yeah, my character's already OP. I was like, what did what did you build? Like, what's your character? And he's like, I did a I did a, a, a Warlock um, El- Eldritch Blast build, which is a one-hit KO build. Yeah. Which I'm like. 
did you like in my mind i'm like did you look up the best optimal build and just went straight to that Probably. you didn't try to do your own thing and then i was like well how did you like the story and he's like i didn't really pay attention to it he's one of those guys he's one of those guys blasted to the story he, yeah he's just like oh this dialogue's boring i just want to get to the combat oh my god he's one of those guys and then he was just like yeah i just Got bored of it because my characters are so OP and I just don't really see the point. And yeah, like, my dick's big, you know yeah. that too. <laughs> it was it so, sounds like that. It's like you know, slight, humble brag. It's like, yeah, I built a character. He's pretty big. It's like my dick, you know. And uh, you know, my girlfriend, she's a model. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny to say that because he's actually the shortest one out of all of us. Short king. It's funny. One of my bosses had to get on to me because I had like. Um, uh, we're supposed to go up like these designated stairs, yeah. right? To like get on top of like our machines yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. that we work on, whatever. And on the side, there's like this little thing that rolls out that has like wires tucked into it that has like this kind of covering on it. I used to always just put my foot on it and bounce up onto the machine that way. And he came up to me. He's like, have you been getting up the machine through there? And he's like, yeah. And he's like, don't do that. You're the biggest motherfucker over here. Don't do that. <laughs> so why, why would you do that? If you break that, you could fucking bust a water main, like a water line. And then you're going to be covered in coolant and it's going to make a fucking mess. It's like, come on, dude. I was like, my bad. I didn't think I didn't I didn't know that was in that thing. I just thought it was fucking like wires tucked away. And he's like, yeah, but still, like, don't don't, don't step on it. Don't abuse the machine, dog. Like, I was like my bad. I apologize. I was like, I'm sorry. And he's just like, no, it's cool. But he's like, you know, be careful. You just do, do it right in front of him. <laughs> Dude, I almost did. <laughs> I almost fucking did. After he said that, it's like, okay, my bad. I go over and I put my foot on him. I'm just like, ooh. <laughs> he's just looking at you like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> it's because I, I hate having to, like, go around. Because yeah. I'm like, I need, I want to be efficient. I want to be quick and do get shit done. But, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. Because, like, he's always, like, I remember one day he complimented on me on, like, hey, you were able to get a lot done in these couple of hours. Like, good job. And he's, like, what he didn't know is I did it so fast because I've been using that shortcut. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I've just been climbing the side of this thing. Like, you don't just, you don't see me. Yeah, I, I, I need to stop doing that anyways because the thing is, I, what I would do is I would, like, it kind of, like, bounces a little bit so i would use it to kind of propel myself God, up dude, that tube is probably bent the fuck now or whatever it is well no there. it's it's they're in like they're in like um plastic like oh, wire okay. tubing and shit oh, right even, even more firm <laughs> no i mean it's more buoyant uh or flexible flexible yeah, yeah. and um <laughs> no i'm saying like even like you know stronger because i thought it was a like the coolant was going through like a metal like copper tube or something no 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 no, no, no it's no. going through a plastic more like breakable tube no no it's more, okay let me, let me rephrase it it's like a rubber hose it's kind of like you know like a water oh, hose okay. um so it's more it's more you know flexible yeah. whatever but yeah just oh, grab it do you mean this hose that's the only <laughs> time at my job i've ever been like you know so far at this job that they've been like hey don't do something like that you know other Wait, than that sucking I dick in the bathroom <laughs> Oh, dude, fucking, we, we do have, like, a bathroom nearby there, man. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, like, two extra bathrooms, so, like, the whole back area has access to. I try so hard to be one of the first people to use that bathroom because we, in the afternoon, that 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 thing is stinking. Because, I mean, you're back there. You're working. You're moving. Yeah. And I bring, um I bring like, a, like, a, like a, pl a plastic water jug with me. Full of milk. <laughs> Could you imagine? Dude, imagine... Okay, so it's like a half gallon of like water that I drink out through the day. Yeah, yeah, I try yeah. to drink half a gallon every day, yeah. but it makes me piss a lot, right? I just thought the mental idea of me going to work with this half a gallon of milk <laughs> through the whole day, I'm just sipping on milk. What the Everyone fuck? Everyone walks by. You just wear a shirt that says, I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> Dude, you should start doing that. Every time you go to work, like first day, like go into work one day with just a gallon of water, and you're just like sipping on throughout the yeah. day, right? And the next day, go, do the same thing, but with like. With like sweet tea, and then the third day go with like a gallon of milk <laughs> or chocolate milk, or just uh just keep changing the gallons, or just uh just use random things like get a bottle of like uh like one of the antifreeze jugs, empty it out, and just put Gatorade in it, and like somehow like seal the top back up, <laughs> so when like someone goes there, it's like oh, I'm thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> No, you should do the thing where, like, um, you should get some apple juice, but fill it into a jug of, like, distilled vinegar. 
Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you're just sipping out of his room. <laughs> Is he just downing vinegar? Like what's it's good the- for you? <laughs> <laughs> Well, what is it? People do like the like a like half or like a quarter cup of vinegar in the morning or some shit. Like I don't that. know why people do that shit. It's really good. It's like a fat burner, but I'm like, it's not a fat burner. It it's, can't be. Yeah, I think you're just being gross. You're just pickling yourself. You're just you do have problems. Yeah, you need to stop. You're pickling yourself. <laughs> I <laughs> am the pickle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pickle Rick. <laughs> <laughs> Bring that fucking thing back. That was, that, a was real, an, that was fucking annoying. That was an annoying era. Yeah. I fucking hated that whole Rick and Morty, Pickle Rick era. Yeah. I, they it, made fun of it a lot on the show, too. Yeah, I really didn't like that whole, like, like blend of, um or, like, whole group of people that were just, like, yeah, you have to be of a certain echelon of intelligence to really get the full nuance of fucking no, Rick you and Morty. No, it's you don't. Stupid, it's just stupid humor. It's That's like, all it is. It's written by two dudes that, like. One of them likes children. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. Uh, and the other one is severely depressed. Yeah, because he's like, I got to carry the show by myself now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, apparently they didn't really have much to do with it anymore after the fact. Uh, I think for the most part, it was just um, Justin Rowling was doing most of the voice acting, and then they had writing teams that took yeah. care of the rest. Because, like, they have, like, Dan Harmon specifically, he has, like, a certain, like, routine of how he structures his stories. Because yeah. he says it creates a, cohes- a, a cohesive story. It's like yeah. you have the beginning you have the conflict, um, the uh, resolution. The no, the results of the conflict, mm-hmm. then the resolution. Yeah, and then he's like, "That's how you build a good story." And then, yeah, then pickle Rick, pickle Rick, yeah. But that's fucking stupid. That show, I mean, that show was entertaining for a minute, but it did get a kind of. I remember they got like shitty when McDonald's said they were re-releasing this the. Uh, the Szechuan sauce stuff or whatever it was. Yeah. And then everyone started like freaking out about it. And then you see the videos of the kids like jumping on the counters because they want Szechuan sauce. Yeah. I'm like guys really just because they spoke cartoon? out against it. They were like, dude, don't, don't, what are you doing? Stop. Yeah. Like you're just, ma- you're just embarrassing us. Yeah. Is you're it, if you're a, stupid. I don't understand the whole thing of like, if you're like a big fan of something and then they make like a joke about something that you're immediately obsessed with that thing too. Like yeah. it, it doesn't make sense. I mean, we talked about a Baldur's Gate a lot. Yeah. Yeah. What are you talking about? No, because Baldur's Gate is really popular right now, so yeah. everyone's talking about it. I yeah. know, but th- it's funny how to see, like, all these, like, um, big-time streamers being like, how did... Like, there's a lot of streamers that are like, I don't get why people like Baldur's Gate. Spider-Man should have won. I'm like, it's, it's because you realize, oh, they're, like, the they're the people that don't understand role-playing games. Yeah. They're the ones that don't understand... They want linear. The, they want, yes. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Spider-Man games are fun. Yeah, that Spider-Man 2 game I heard was fucking amazing. Yeah. yeah I, I, I still I need to buy it. I, I never played the Miles Morales one. I heard that one was good, too. Oh, you haven't? I haven't played it. No, it's I, really good. I, I've only played the first one. Yeah. I played the first one when I still had my PS4, and then I never got my PS5. Um, yeah. I didn't want to get it, but now it's kind of like I have a gaming PC, so it's kind of like I don't fucking want to spend more money on more. You can get the... What is it? You can get the Xbox Game Pass. Oh yeah, I and then just play all the games, all the big. Because I mean, all those big like games are. On do you those systems. do you have to stream them or can you download them? Um, I think you can download them. Because like if if you have to stream, because I remember remember PlayStation Now. I tried to do that, and that thing was dog. It's shit. better now. Uh, I remember before it was only streaming. They wouldn't let you download when it first when it first came out. Yeah. And but, uh, I, you can download games now, but there's some that you just can only stream. Mm-hmm. And uh, how much is Game Pass actually? Uh, depends on how much you or what do you want. Because there's the the regular one. It's like ten bucks a month or twelve bucks a month, and that just gets you like you know on live, uh, like online to play and everything. Mm-hmm. The next one gives you like the the the. I just want to be able to play some games. I mean, I pay the. I do the. It was like twenty bucks a month. Mm-hmm. It's the 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 top tier one. Yeah. And then you get all like the PS. You, you get like all like the free games plus the classics catalog plus like PS Five games. Well, that's for the, well, that's yeah. for PlayStation, is it not? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, no, I'm talking about like actual a- Xbox Game Pass. I think it's pretty much the same thing. I think PlayStation mm-hmm. just copied it. Yeah. But I think it's pretty much the same thing. But, it would um, be nice to try out other games because I do get bored of like playing the same thing after a while. And don't get me wrong, I did enjoy Baldur's Gate a lot, but then again, 
I've been so packed full of other shit going yeah. on. I, I don't even know if I can find a time. Like, th- that's the thing that fucking sucks about, like, as you get older, dude. It's like, I love video games. Yeah. You just don't I, have the time. I just don't have the time. I have to pick and choose what I want to do. Yeah. And a lot of times it's like, I don't want to, like, neglect a lot of the other things that I love to do. You know? Like, right now I've been having fun, like, you know, playing pickleball and trying to work out. And I've been having fun, you know, having, like, weekends again. Because I haven't had a weekend weekends in a long time. Yeah, I know. I was working weekend jobs for a very long time. And then now that I have weekends free, you know, I want to go spend time with my wife and fucking my dogs and do, do shit. Yeah. It's hard to want to be at home locked up in here, like, working on shit. I guess that's my biggest problem right now. But, you know. Oh, I'm slowly um, turning wider. You're slowly turning wider. Yeah. What do you mean? Uh, I I I'm part of the that REI co-op thing now. What the fuck is that? REI is like that outdoor like uh, store that's over in Buford. They do like all the outdoor like they sell like all the equipment and travel cases and hiking equipment and all that stuff. It's like the outdoor camping stuff. Oh, okay, but it's like high end shit, and uh, that's where I got my my stuff for the trip that we're gonna take because um, I wanted something that's gonna last me. And uh, it's cool because I got a, one of those, uh, it's a Osprey, the brand, mm-hmm. and uh, it's a travel bag. And it's one of those brands where it's like, oh, if you ever have a tear or something breaks on it, uh, we'll fix it free, lifetime guarantee. And if we can't fix it, then we'll just send you another one. Okay. So I was like, fuck yeah. So, yeah. Um, but you, if you, you sign get, up you, you for get this direct, thing. You get it directly from their website? Is it like an Amazon thing? or what? No, it's a, there's a store. Oh, okay. You can get it online, too, but there's a store over in, in Buford across from the Costco. Different shipping options. You can do FedEx. You can do um, drone drops. <laughs> and you can also do Jew Tunnel. Jew Tunnel? <laughs> <laughs> what if there's a Jew Tunnel to every home? <laughs> Yo, maybe. It's like, the, a, it's like a fucking anthill. What if, what if Jewish people are actually ants? <laughs> We're going too far with this one. I'm just obsessed with the Jew tunnel, dog. Yeah. It's like this is the funniest thing. It's like welcome to the Jew tunnel. <laughs> I just like all the videos of people being like, "What the fuck is that sound here?" <laughs> They're just slowly invading your home. <laughs> oh, you you live like this? <laughs> yeah. It's Ramadan, bitch. They're all going to, it's, it's the game plan, dude, on Hanukkah. First day of Hanukkah is the first day of the attack. Mm. Yeah. Maybe they're just trying to sneak into, a, like, a vault. But it's not even, like, a vault that matters. Like, they're not trying to steal money. They just stole, like, a, lifetime, fish. a lifetime supply of cream cheese. <laughs> hey, man. I used to not be a fan of bagels and cream cheese. Uh, what? Yeah. No, oh. I am. I don't know why. I don't love cream cheese, yeah. dude. Cream cheese on a bagel? See, I'm not a big fan of cream cheese, but if it's on a bagel, I'll eat that shit. Especially if it's uh, one of those, like, Asiago cheese bagels. Mm. I'll fuck that shit up. I think bagels are the only way I actually eat cream cheese. I don't think I have cream cheese just spread on anything before. Uh, I'm not a fan of uh, cheesecake. Uh, uh, really? You don't like cheesecake? I'm not a fan. Damn. Yeah. I, th- I think it depends on, like, the firmness. I don't like it when cheesecakes are super, like, spongy or, or squishy. I like it when like, my mom makes them, like, very, like, thick and, like, condensed. Well, that's a Mexican cheesecake. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. That uh, shit's fucking I'm not a fan. I don't like flan. No. It's too, it's the texture for me. It's milky jello. I'm like, no, yeah. I, don't want, I don't want that. I don't want that. Bro, there's a weird, like, like the, what's the other one? It's like um, before I had allergy and, and didn't have the excuse to not eat it. Uh, for parties, they would make the fruit salad, but it has, like, the whip, cool whip. With the coconut shavings, marshmallows, and all the fruits in it. Oh yeah, like the it's like a, it's like a fucking like cocktail. Yeah, thing. is it the they one call that, it fruit cocktail? Yeah, but is it is it the one that they put in yogurt? No, what's the one that they put in yogurt? That's different. That's a that's something else. But that one's gross too. I don't like that. It one. it can be good if it's not too watery, but most of the time they make it very watery. Yeah, I'm not a fan. If it's like a thicker texture, it's tip. Yep, typically better, or at least better tasting. But a lot of them like it like in almost like a milky texture, and I'm just like, Ugh. yeah. It's just, and then the like, just a bunch of like the. I don't know. I'm just. I, it's a whole texture thing for me. Mm-hmm. I can't do if it's like too squishy. Yeah. Yeah. I did teach French ladies at work. Um, what mushy means? What do you mean? Because they don't know what mushy means. They mushy. know mushy. Yeah, I was like, you know, like. 
like when you step on mud, like a like a really wet mud, your foot sinks in. It's, it's a, it does that sound, you know, mm-hmm. like a like a wet pussy. <laughs> No, like I still was like, you know, it, was, it makes that sound. Like, so you never had, you never had a mush a hoe before. <laughs> a what? You know, when you mush somebody. Oh yeah. And you grab them by the head, and you're like, like get the fuck out of my face, bitch. Uh, okay. Uh, I've dealt with a lot of bitches in my time. <laughs> <laughs> out of my face, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you're out of daycare. <laughs> <laughs> Man down, pimp in distress. <laughs> God, I miss. I haven't seen that movie forever. The Friday after next. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know this until somebody had mentioned it, but people were, were talking about like if you, a lot of people don't notice this, but um, Money Mike, the that um, Cat Williams played, mm-hmm. he, he doesn't have teeth. He doesn't have front teeth. Yeah, yeah, and it's because Cat Williams had broken those teeth, mm-hmm. and he was in the movie, you know, without those front teeth. Mm-hmm. Uh, miss, um, or do you think it'll be racist if I dress up like Pinky? Pinky. Yeah, from uh, the second like next Friday. You know the the guy that owns the record shop that that Day Day's boss, Pink. I don't remember. Ah, oh, dude, he was the Pink Pimp. I don't remember the second movie. Really? Well, he shows up in the you third movie too. Next was, Friday. Yeah, next Friday is when he moves to Rancho Rancho Cucamongo with the uh, Day Day and his family, and they oh, won the lottery. Yeah, it's been a minute. That's, yeah. that's the one where is that the one where that's the one where Debo escapes from prison, right? Yeah, with like the other guy, the little guy. Yeah, and then uh, they have they fight the Mexicans too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a minute, dude. I haven't seen any of those movies in a long time. I remember yeah. I enjoyed watching like Friday, Friday mm-hmm. After Next. Like, th- there are they are good movies. Yeah, and like they get they're they're just dumb at some points, but they're like funny dumb. Well, the thing you have to remember is like this was these movies were made on very low budgets, mm-hmm. and but they're still pretty fucking entertaining. They were well written. Ice Cube yeah. did a good job on them. He was the one that really held those movies together. Mm-hmm. And then, but I remember they talked about like. Would they consider making another one? And they're they said like one of the reasons they don't want to is because they lost John Ru- uh, Witherspoon. Yeah, and it's like it's hard because he was uh, they such... were in talks before he died about making another one and bringing back Chris Tucker's character. Yeah, yeah, and he was supposed to be like you know like uh, what's his Ice Cube was supposed to go and like save him or something mm-hmm. because a uh, big worm finally got to him or some shit like that. Yeah, but yeah, big worm. There's that one guy. <laughs> it's a TikTok. He's like. It's like if I don't if I have a son and if his nickname is a big worm when he gets out of high school I fail as a father. Yeah. And it's like why? <laughs> I'm curious to see if Chris Tucker actually will ever come back and do something. Like he occasionally pops in certain movie mm-hmm. roles and he always has a very small role. He has just been absent for the most part for a while. I remember he did drop a Netflix comedy special which I was like I didn't even know he still did comedy and I watched mm-hmm. it and it was actually pretty good. He's still pretty fucking funny. Yeah. But like, where the fuck has he been? And like, I He's think living his life, dude. He's got that rush hour money. Well, one, he was really good friends with Michael Jackson, and he also showed up on the Epstein flight logs. I mean, oh. again, that doesn't mean he was like on Epstein Island taking advantage of my. He actually went on vacation. He could have just been on vacation. I showed you that one. It's the guy from that one show. He's like, I didn't do. I didn't do fucking shit. I didn't see nothing. I didn't do fucking shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, uh, I remember it's a. <laughs> I hope they make another Rush Hour movie because they were announcing something about that. I love that thing of that dude doing like I didn't do fucking shit. Like I ain't worried about it. It's yeah, like I whenever, ain't worried about it. I remember someone made a meme. It's like when I confront my mom about all the trauma I went through as a child. And he's yeah. just like I didn't do fucking <laughs> shit. I ain't worried about it. <laughs> I like the. Or from the whole, like, flightless thing with uh, Stephen Hawking being on it. Yeah. Uh, just all the memes and stuff that's been coming out of that shit. Like, the one that's, like, him sitting in the chair and it's like, his helper's like, all right, well, you know, I'll be like, okay, no, just leave me here. I'll take care of him. And you ready to fucking party? Bro, I thought he wasn't going to fucking leave. <laughs> <laughs> he was uh, fucking faking it the whole time. Yeah. Loves midgets. It's funny to hear that he actually cheated on his wife while he was, like, fucked up. Yeah. Like, before he got crippled, he he cheated on his wife. That dick still work, bro. That's insane. Yeah. Anyways, thanks again for listening to another episode of The Night Fun, guys. Make sure to give us a follow at The Night Fun Podcast on Instagram. We're on YouTube. We're on TikTok. And also, you can find us streaming on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. So make sure to go check us out. Go give us a like, a subscribe, leave some comments, give some suggestions for future episodes, all that good shit. <laughs> 
more content coming out throughout the rest of the year we usually drop them on fridays some episodes will be a little bit late we have to you know schedule things around because yeah. you know we're two working men and we're trying our best out here you know we're just trying to fucking get on top of that whole content game but it's yeah. tough it's tough but we're trying and you know but thanks again anyways if you have been listening and supporting us we fucking appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, shout all out the likes, to all the follows and all yeah, that shit. Shout out to all the new recent followers and um, people who have been checking out the YouTube. Th that's going to be updated very soon. I'm going to drop like seven new videos soon. I'm finally getting caught up thanks to like my new computer, but it is a fucking still uh, takes a minute. Mm -hmm. You can thank fucking the internet in my area because it's dog shit, but you know, I'm doing the best I can. But again, S thanks sponsored again. Sponsored by insert name of internet here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. But again, thanks again. We'll catch y'all next week. Have a good one. Bye. Do you think any Hasidic Jews listen to this? Probably. Oh, God. Do you think, uh, you know that scene from that Tyler Perry movie when the wife puts the husband that's in the wheelchair into the, the hot tub? No. And just, like, almost lets him drown? No. Do you think Stephen Hawking's wife did that? Thing after he <laughs> he tried to do that? <laughs> yeah. It's, that's where Tyler Perry got the idea. <laughs> <laughs>